Creative Group, and uh, we're excited uh, uh, to share with you a big announcement today. Um, but before we get started, let's uh, share some introductions. Cecil? Uh, hi, I'm Cecil McPurry. I'm the Chief Creative Officer of Falcons Creative Group, based here in Orlando. <laughs> Hi there, uh, I'm Dawn Saccone, um, Vice President and Head of Brand Licensing for PBS. Excited to be here. Thank you so much. So I know everyone's waiting on uh, pins and needles, so let's get right to it. What is the big announcement, Cecil? Uh, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> What's that logo over there behind the Falcons? So we've entered into a exclusive agreement with PBS to create a location-based entertainment called Experience PBS that is uh, in selected markets and definitely domestically and, and selected worldwide as well. So we're very excited to have this relationship uh, go public today. For PBS, this is our first uh, four way, foray into uh, really exploring this concept of uh, location-based destinations. And we're, we're excited about a new platform and a way for uh, families to be able to engage with our brand uh, in a different way. So, and across topics that have a long time been part of PBS, like science and nature and arts. So this is uh, really exciting. Awesome. I, I know the PBS brand has such an incredible, rich history. Can you guys explain a little bit how you see that uh, manifesting itself in a location-based entertainment? Sure, yeah. So uh, PBS has uh, nine, about 90 million uh, viewers every month. We have 28 million or so online, people who engage with us and families. And when you think about like brand attributes uh, for PBS you know, we talk a lot about our brand like at the essence it's about exploration and curiosity and celebrating the joy of discovery and in being pioneering and uh, innovators and so it was a really interesting concept to start thinking about if we brought those attributes to life in a way where families could engage with it and be able to, to discover that joy of uh, in exploring together and learning together through a real hands-on experience. And to be able to do that, is, it's a really rich and interesting concept to us. And I think the timing couldn't be better. If you think about how um, retail is starting to change its paradigm of how guests engage with retail, um, a lot of these destination uh, experiences that are traditionally retail driven are in need of new experiences. And why not create something that is uh, embracing one of the most trusted educational institutional brands, PBS, to have that as your destination. And so I know David and I were talking about we both have uh, younger children and um, you know, oftentimes it's the mother who's making a decision on where they want to engage um, their children to experience uh, entertainment and why not have that uh, be educational based and so we really want to take this to the next level of embracing this history of education and a lot of you know a lot of the IPs and brands and we were enlightened, you know, I'm obviously knowledgeable about PBS and some of the content that's there but wow, the breadth of um, you know, shows that they uh, uh, showcase are full family. It's not just a younger demographic, although PBS Kids is incredible reach, but there's also full family. And so with science, technology, arts, and nature as kind of the premise, that's kind of where we started our design uh, development, uh, basically creating a curiosity spectrum as our graphic party to design this amazing experience. So we're really excited. We've invested a lot of time trying to ideate to create a unique niche of educational components that draw you, that still have that entertainment component, but you know, embedded in education. It's a, it's a win-win in, in my mind. Awesome, thank you so much, guys. Sorry. Uh, so we have some images to share with you, uh, Jason. Yep.
So thank you very much, and I hope you uh, continue to keep in touch. We have some additional assets.